Of course, we welcome the visit of President Clinton. We appreciate his vote and his intentions to put an end to the present crisis. But nobody should mix between this visit and the news about holding a tripartite summit. These are two different and two separate issues, and they should not be mixed with each other. The holding of a summit needs preparations. We held in the past few weeks and months two summits without preparations, and they failed. We held one in Camp David, and it failed. And we held just another one in Paris last week without preparations, and it failed as well. The preparations are needed through the implementation of the Security Council resolutions, uh, resolution, the last one, last week, and through this implementation, there should be concrete measures taken on the ground, uh, uh, including the withdrawal of the Israeli army, the withdrawal of Israeli settlers, and preventing them from moving in the West Bank and Gaza and Jerusalem as armed settlers, and the uh, uh, formation of an international, and I repeat, international commission. Thank you. I believe that the uh, res ultimate responsibility for possible uh, uh, terror attacks uh, lies, first of all, with the uh, uh, people who directly sending uh, these terrorists, namely Hamas or Islamic Jihad, but also uh, in the PA, uh, as long as they are uh, letting the revolving door uh, operate or works and the uh, prisoners of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad uh, being released. In this situation, I've ordered uh, our security forces to try to get on early, on a high level of uh, kind of uh, awareness of this possibility in the intelligence um, uh, system and in the security system as a whole. We, we, I came here to get down to business. No, no, no. Forgive me, I have to get down to business now. <laughs> Thank you.